Hello all. Today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0013 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0013 code? Well, it's an exhaust B camshaft position actuator circuit open bank one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer has seen an issue with the variable control actuator. And this is used for like timing to help open up the cams more during at certain speeds and things like this. And seeing a problem with this is going to be troubleshooted as to why. And some possible causes could be low or dirty engine oil, could be a bad variable control valve, could also be a problem inside the circuit, could also be a problem inside the wiring or inside the harness. And it's possible to be the PCM, but that's pretty rare. And so the first thing to do when you have this error code is go check the engine oil. Since the variable control valve has oil flowing through it, and this can affect how it works. So if the engine oil is low, or if it's really super dirty, it could mess with the variable control valve. So go and check it. Be sure the engine oil is not low and that it's at the correct level and that it's not super, super dirty. Since low or really super dirty oil can cause issues in some cases. And so if the engine oil level is good, then the next thing to go look at and what this code is pointing towards is this variable control actuator. It'll be a long cylinder tube that slides in and out of the engine. It'll have a harness going to it, a wiring harness. And that's one thing to keep in mind is that bad wiring and open short, a bad connection can cause the same symptoms as a bad solenoid. So you're going to want to check this wiring. Be, sh be sure this is plugged in good. It's got a good connection and that there's no opens or shorts in there. And that any fuse that this circuit's on hasn't blown or anything like that. And if that all looks good, then this variable control actuator will need to be swapped out. And it'll depend on the location of it, how hard it is to swap out or not. Sometimes they're located on the top of the engine, so it's easy to get to. And sometimes they can be located on the front, like behind a fan or a pulley or something along these lines, so they can be more difficult. But the next thing to do would be to go ahead and swap out this variable control valve. And I'm going to jump over on Amazon and give you an idea how much they cost. They're not like super high cost items or nothing. It looks like they range around 20, 19, 36 there. So it's not super expensive items or anything like that. And when you go to swap one of these out, there can be two of them, so keep that in mind. Sometimes there's just one, but there can also be two, so there could be an intake and exhaust one. And with this code, it's pointed towards the exhaust, a variable control actuator. And so what do you do if you have a Honda with the P0013 code? Well, first thing to do is locate the variable control actuator on your engine. If there's two of them, it's going to be the exhaust one, since there can't be an intake and there can't be an exhaust. Once you locate it, look at, check out the wiring. Be sure the wiring looks good. There's no bad connections, open shorts, anything like this. If the wiring looks good, then go ahead and replace the variable control valve, clear the code, and that should solve the issue. And so what do you do if you have a Honda with the P0013 code? Well, first thing to do, go check the oil. Be sure the oil level is correct and that it's not low or super dirty or anything like this. If that all looks good. Find the variable control valve on your engine. There can be two. And so if there is two, then it'll be the exhaust one since there can be an intake and exhaust in some engines. Check out the wiring. Be sure the wiring looks good. Be sure that the harness is connected good. There's no open shorts, anything like this. So if the wiring looks good, then go ahead and replace this variable control valve. Clear the engine code and that should solve the issue. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to do a real quick video on how you go about fixing the Honda with the P0013 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.